New York Yankees fans, how's it going yet again? It is Felix from mynews.com. Like always, hola, como estas? Yankees fans, if I were to tell you that 24-year-old phenomenon, Edwin Diaz, was available, but the only way you could get him was if uh, you took on Robinson Cano, would you do it? Before you say no, here's why Edwin Diaz, along with Robinson Cano, makes sense. You are still going out via free agency and attempting to sign two relievers. Edwin Diaz only makes about 500 k per season. Free agent in 2023. Now, let's compare the salary of, let's say, a potential reliever that the Yankees are going to target this offseason. Let's compare it to Aroldis Chapman. He got five years and $86 million. He is making precisely $15 million per season till 2021. Let's say Zach Britton. He's going to cost around maybe $13 million per season or 12 Something like that. Around the Orald Miss Chapman range. Other relief pitchers like Miller, etc. They're going to cost similar. So that's $86 million right there. And these relief pitchers like Robertson... Britton, Miller, etc., are going to look for three to four years. So that's about 50 to 60 or even 70 million in total. Also, I misspoke. Um, Araldis Chapman is making $15 million per season, but $2 million plus is being added as a signing bonus. So he's practically making more than $17 million per season. And we're talking about two relief pitchers that the Yankees want to sign this offseason. So that makes it close to $100 million in total. Cano is still owed close to $120 million for five years. But if you have heard Michael K break it down, if he's going to work on the Yankees, he's saying that the Yankees, if they get him, they're only going to get him for like three years. And if he struggles his last two years, they'll just release him. But the only way he can see the Yankees uh, obtaining Cano is if the Mariners pay a hefty price on his remaining contract, and if the Yankees pay about $8 million to $10 million per season. So let's say the Yankees pull off a trade with the Mariners. They are answering two pieces that they needed to fill in, uh, infield and a reliever. And this is not your typical reliever, folks. Edwin Diaz is a phenomenon. Edwin Diaz in his career, in his young career, has already surpassed a Rawls Miss Chapman for strikeouts in a season. His highest, which was last season, was 124. Chapman's highest K rate was in 2012, the same third season. He had 122 strikeouts at the same age. And Edwin Diaz has really double the saves that Oradmus Chapman has ever put up in a season. Edwin Diaz had 57 saves Last season, and before that, he had 34. Oramis Chapman, his highest save total was 38. And this was, again, when he was about 24 to 25. So you can see Edwin Diaz is really one of the greats in the making when it comes to a closer. Also, I do believe that Edwin Diaz and Robinson Cano have told the Mariners that they prefer to play closer to the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico. I mean, Seattle is like a world away from those islands in the Caribbean. Obviously, with uh, Edwin Diaz's numbers, he also won AL Reliever of the Year. So um, this, is, this makes it real intriguing to pick up a Robinson Cano if you could obtain an Edwin Diaz. And also, like I said, you are already going to spend via free agency for a reliever. And if you pick up Edwin Diaz, it's basically the same thing if you were going out via free agency. And in this case, you're picking up a better reliever compared to what's available via free agency. Because the same amount of money is the same amount of money you're going to spend via free agency with a Robinson Cano. Also, I expect the Yankees to ship out Ellsbury in a deal like that as well. So the numbers could remain the same if the Yankees had a budget to uh, go out there and pick up relievers via free agency. But obviously the Yankees obviously, obviously have to add a left-handed arm to that bullpen. 
So you could expect the Yankees either via trade to find the answer or via reagency. So for all the Cano naysayers, I understand he's owed. He's owed millions of dollars. But if you could ship out Ellsbury and get an Edwin Diaz in return, possibly you wouldn't even give up that much because the Mariners are seeing it as a salary dump. I mean, that's intriguing. That's that's really, really intriguing. Edwin Diaz is putting up um incredible numbers at a young age. I mean, he's really the best closer in the game. So, Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. What do you guys think about this potential move? Do you think the Yankees should go after Edwin Diaz? Even if you have to take on Cano, leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe. And I will check you out next time.